Hello everyone, this is Ms. Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this video, we will make IoT based smart agriculture with automatic irrigation system. Here, we will use capacitive soil moisture sensor to measure moisture content present in the soil. We will also use DHD11 humidity temperature sensor to measure the air temperature and humidity. Using a 5 volt power relay, we will control the water pump. Whenever the low quantity of moisture is detected in the soil, the motor automatically turns on and hence the irrigation is done automatically. Once the soil becomes wet, the motor turns off. All this happening can be monitored remotely through SyncSpeak server online from any part of the world. This project also requires a custom PCV, so I used Easy EDA to design the custom PCV. First, I designed the schematic, then I converted the schematic into a PCV. So you can see the 3D view of the PCV front side as well as the back side. Then I generated the Gerber file. Now you can visit next PCV official website and order the PCV at very cheap price. All you need is upload the Gerber file. Then view your PCV in Gerber viewer. Then select the details like PCV quantity, PCV color and thickness. Then select the country of shipment and then place an order. So that's all. Currently, the next PCV is giving a biggest discount with lottery draw and free order. Link is given in the description. There is 20% off for PCV orders and 100% lottery draw winning rate. You can get free PCV order, free SMT order, $30 to $100, $10 to $5 coupon without limit. Click here for that. Go through these easy rules for getting participated in this lottery draw. Apart from this 20% of PCV orders and 15% of SMT orders, you can go for PCV prototype, mass production, multi-layer PCV board, PCV assembly. <laughs> For this project, we need node MCU board, a capacitive soil moisture sensor, a 5 volt relay module, 0.96 inch OLED display, DHD11 sensor, breadboard, and a 5 volt DC pump motor. The motor is used for drawing water from inlet and drawing water through the outlet. A pipe can be connected to it. So now here is the schematic of the project. I used Fritzing to make a schematic which is beautifully designed. Just place and connect a component. It's super easy. So the final schematic is ready. Soil moisture sensor is connected to A0 of node MCU and DHT11 to D4 pin. The motor is connected to relay. The relay is controlled using D5 pin of node MCU. The OLED display is connected to 12C pin of node MCU. So here is the final assembly on the breadboard. I highly recommend you to do this project in a PCV board. The breadboard connection might give you some issues. For demonstration purpose, I use the breadboard for assembling the circuit. So I have a small tube with soil and a grass growing in it and a tube with water. The tube is a water source from where the motor can draw water whenever it's necessary. This is a soil moisture sensor, DHT11 sensor, relay module, OLED display, node MCU board, and a water pump. This water pump need to be fully submerged in water. The outlet pipe is kept in a field for irrigation. Similarly, soil moisture sensor is dipped in soil. As soon as the device is powered, the OLED will start displaying the soil humidity, air humidity, and also air temperature. It's showing the real-time data. As you can see here, when the soil moisture content is reduced, the water pumps turns on and irrigate the field until the required moisture is achieved. You can check its full working here in this video.
Now what I want is I want to monitor the data online on internet from any part of the world. So create an account on Thinkspeak server. As I have already created an account, I will simply sign in. After that, create a new channel. Write the name of the channel. Also fill the four different fields as soil moisture, humidity, temperature, and motor status and save the channel. Then go to the API keys and copy the right API key. This API key is required in code and you need to paste it here. Now let's see the code part. We need few libraries for that. All the libraries link is given below. The code is pretty simple and easy to understand, but you need to make some changes in few parameters. For example, change the API key, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Here we are uploading the data to Things Pick Server. This line is used for retrieving the value of air temperature and humidity. Similarly, we are reading the soil moisture data from soil moisture sensor and converting it into percentage using a map function. Then we are display the values on OLED screen using some inbuilt library function. These lines are for turning on and off the motor when a particular threshold is achieved. I have defined 30% as a threshold value. You can use yours depending upon the application. Now using the post string function, we are uploading the four datas to Thinkspec server. You can see from field 1 to field 4 as soil moisture, humidity, temperature and relay status. You need to upload this code now to node MCU board. So select the right board and then a right board and hit the upload button. So once the code is uploaded, you are done. You can go to the private view of Thinkspec server. Here you can see the status of soil moisture, humidity and temperature as well as relay status. So that's all from today. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.